to use GarageBand today. You can find it in your dock or you can find it in your application folder. As you see. You can do anything. GarageBand, your voice, loops, podcasts, songwriting, recent projects that you have. Teach you how to play, store, learn, make your own ringtones too. Today we'll use piano. Name your song. I like to have more big room space so I can see what I'm doing. Time, right here, I'll show you time. The measure, the note, the chord, and the project. Me, I like to use time so I know what I'm doing. Right here, you can open, close, save, edit, track, bring in a new track if you want. You put it in a metronome. Me, I don't like to use a metronome as much. I know I'm supposed to, but I got I'm, I know my own. Musical typing, you can type on your keyboard. And if you use ZX, you can go higher or lower. Let's bring in a new track. Software. And as you see, the, it brought in a new track. Right here, you can put in any in, any different instrument that you want. There's different sound effects. There's some that are already programmed. You have so many kits on this on this uh, software, so you'll be okay with that. You gotta practice a lot just to learn simple stuff. Right here, if you push the red button right here and it's turning red, it'll, it'll record what you're what you're doing. Now, if you see the eye on the on your bottom right. You click on that and then you go right here. You have so many uh, sound effects that you would like to put if you want to put. It's up to you. Like it has some beats already, if you want to use those. I like to make my own. See what we can find here. See if that'll see. It's just like dragging. You just drag it straight to uh, your dock right here. And it'll be fine. See how this sounds.
too simple. If you alt and click, you can you can uh drag it somewhere else and it'll it'll double. Right here, if you click on that, then you can edit it. You can do the same. You can edit it, make it perfect the way you want it. Just simple. Then save your project. Then you can send your song to iTunes. You gotta name it first, make sure you name it right. Artist name, just put in your name. Album name as well. You don't have to, it's just I, I like to do that. You can change it to a, you can change the mp3 to anything. Uh, I like to stick to mp3, it's a lot easier. Then now you got it on there, on your iTunes. Now if you want to make something like me, it'll take a while. Thank you everybody for listening. Next time, we'll teach you something different.